Jewish continuity, assimilation into marriage, everybody should be concerned about Jewish continuity. What's going to happen with the Jewish people in the future? Of course, God gave us a promise that Jewish continuity will always be present. In other words, there is what we call a Brit Olam, an eternal covenant, which means the Jewish people know they will never, never disappear. However, Jewish continuity is still an important issue because we don't know how big the Jewish nation is going to be. We don't know how powerful they will be. We don't know who they will be. We just know that they will always be around, but we don't know the nature of what makes up the Jewish people. Jewish continuity. It should be on the forefront of everyone's mind. And certainly when the day school movement began, they thought that was the answer to Jewish continuity. Put the children into day school, get them get, let them have a Jewish education from an early age, and maybe that will be enough to carry them through. Well, the new statistics are in from the Abi Chai Foundation, and the numbers, well, they are disappointing. Yes, there is an economic decline, and in part that certainly will explain why there are less Jewish kids attending day schools now than there were 15 years ago. That is partially an understandable reason, but it's not enough. It's not enough to help us understand why so many Jews are opting out. From 19, 2008 until 2011, in the last three years, Jewish day school attendance in the non-Orthodox sector has dropped by nearly 10%. And even before that time, at the time going from 1998, when they started counting the numbers, until 2008, it only grew by maybe a percent or so. It didn't really take off. The idea that Jewish day schools, and day school education, would be the answer to Jewish continuity, despite the millions of dollars that have been poured into it, unfortunately, that does not seem to be the answer. And the question is twofold. Number one, why not? Why aren't, besides the financial reasons, why aren't those numbers increasing? Why aren't people still in the non-Orthodox sector, why aren't they still embracing the idea of a Jewish day school education? And number two, if that's not the idea, if that's not the answer, if Jewish day school education is not the way to really help with Jewish continuity, then what is? You must have some ideas. We've got to put our heads together. It should be on the minds of everyone. We should be concerned. Everybody should be worried about it. We've got to find the answer. Questions. Why isn't day school situation working? And number two, what will? Something to be concerned about. Something very much to think about.